six to eight months ago, I said in this parliament, and I said to the prime minister that the cabinet paper and information I know was available. The prime minister responded that he did not see it. That was six to eight months ago. But on November 21st, an eyewitness news reporter asked, and asked a similar question, and the prime minister said he had not seen the documents or the paper. Madam Speaker, do you not find it strange that six to eight months ago a question is asked, and eight months later he still had not seen it? energy is so important, or that matter is so important, would a prime minister or manager not review so that he would be knowledgeable about the matter and deal with it appropriately, as opposed to six, eight months later saying they still had not seen the document? But decisions were made. Decisions were made. And the question has to be asked, who made such decision? Who made such decision? But Madam Speaker, let's take it further. National Insurance Actuarial Report study came out since January of 2022. Yet the Guardian, October 24th of this year, the Prime Minister said he had not yet seen the report. He had not yet seen the report. Yet he said decisions had to be made. Madam Speaker, it would appear that the Prime Minister has a history of not seeing reports. A prime minister must sit down and read. Reading is essential. Reading documents is essential to make decisions. Yes, most people like traveling, but still, you've been elected by the government, the Bahamian people, to make decisions, not just travel, and still six months later, you have not seen documents. It shows that it's not important. <clears throat> then, the Prime Minister said, the Ministry of Finance is a big ministry. But Madam Speaker, the Ministry of Finance has been cut to almost half the size when I was Prime Minister and headed finance. It was bigger. It was bigger when Hubert Ingram was Prime Minister. It was bigger when Perry Christie was Prime Minister. But now that it's cut and a lot of the work has been given to the Economic Affairs Minister, he's saying it's a big ministry. Well, is it too big for him, Madam Speaker? And if it's too big, I ask that the Prime Minister should reduce it. And how do you do that? Shuffle his cabinet and move himself from such ministry and give it to economic affairs and give others responsibility if it's too big for you because you're not reading important documents where decisions has to be made.